Hey all, uh, yesterday marked the final day for the Edmonton Expo for this year. Uh, I went yesterday, I took a couple of my nephews along with me, and we, or I, along with actually my youngest nephew, uh, we got to meet Brent Spiner. Um, I actually, what I do is I like to make construction paper art, and I usually try to make it, or a piece for people that I meet there, and as well for friends and all that. So I made one for Brent Spiner, hopefully this will come out properly you can get a good look at it that's what I made for him spent a good part of my nights over the last week working on that as I have my eight and a half hour days to see to and then I get home and then I'm up until about two or three every morning trying to work on that uh, so anyway I got to see him and uh, I got my comic signed by him as you can see there it says to a fine artist which is of course in reference to the artwork that I made for him which he thought was really interesting, really cool, and I framed it for him this time. Usually I don't. Usually I'll stick them in like file folders for people, but this year I went out loud and I got an actual frame for it, so it will be in good shape. Uh, also, I got a, a photograph with him. Right there. Uh, very cool. Very cool guy. Uh, the fact I think that the lines were low, or maybe not, I don't know, but we got to talk for about five minutes, I think. It felt like five minutes to me anyway. And um, as I say, he signed the uh, comic. He flipped through it. Uh, and he was really impressed by the art. And I said, you know, the artist who did the cover and uh, a lot of the art, uh, J.K. Woodworth, he did this book. And like I say, every picture looks like a painting. It's just amazing what he can do. And uh, Brent Spiner was really interested in that, and I said, well, if you, he's like, I would like to meet this guy, because it looks really good. And I said, well, he's just down the way, because he was there as well. And um, so he's like, okay, I'll go, and I'll, I'll meet him. I'll meet up with him at some point, as soon as I have a minute. So we went, and that was the end of that. I went out to, or I went to the cafeteria with my nephew. We went, had some pizza, and uh, came back. So this is like an hour later, and I go to meet uh, J.K., Woodworth. Um, and it was really cool because we had actually talked briefly on Twitter a week ahead of time, or like the, the early, uh, the Monday beforehand. And so I brought that up and he's like, oh yeah, I know, I, I remember you. So he had a book of all his art and it was really interesting because I was wondering how this works. Because I said to him, it looks like your work is paints, paintings, like every panel. And he's like, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Because what he works with is he works with really large uh, pages and he paints them on I suppose and uh, it was it eventually gets shrunk down into comic size like this so um, we were talking and uh, I said well can I get your autograph you know just for the heck of it I get it on here which I did uh, as you can see hopefully it's coming out right there and as we were talking, I'm like, yeah, I saw Brent earlier because he saw the autograph on here as well. And I brought you up, and he said he was going to come by. And this is the interesting thing. Out of nowhere, as soon as I had said that, Brent Spiner appears to my right. And he's like, hi, how you doing? Uh, Nathan told me about this, and I had to come take a look for myself. It was the weirdest thing. As, right, as soon as I, I bring him up, he shows up right to my right out of nowhere. I didn't even hear him or see him coming. Uh, so they had their little conversation for a while back and forth. And uh, I kind of took a step to the left. I didn't want to get, you know, into that too much. I wanted to give him their, their privacy. But uh, I said if any of his artwork was ever going to be uh, poster size, it would be amazing. But he did have a couple, like, mini posters, but he also had these art cards. So I thought instead of that, I'll buy these because they were five going. They were going for five a piece, five dollars a piece. So there's that, and I got them all signed by him as well. That one, which I don't think was in any of the books, but it looks really cool. This is the one they had as a mini poster, and then this one, which is really sharp, very cool. So that was my experience at the 2018 Expo as far as meeting uh, Brent Spiner and J.K. Woodworth, very cool guys, really happy to have finally met them, or to ever ever have met them. Um, you never know who's coming to these expos every year, it's kind of just, you know, up in the air until until you actually see it on the list, which is really neat. But, 
very cool. Uh, very cool to meet them both. And the fact that I kind of sort of got to meet Brent Spiner twice in uh, like I did was just amazing. I'm going to remember that for a long time. But uh, at any rate, I just want to share that bit of a story with you. Very cool day. Really lots of fun. Uh, and uh, like I said to him even, I'm hoping one day I can get all these covers signed because there was a five issues and uh, all the main cast are on every, or uh, cycle through every issue. Uh, on the covers, and they're really awesome covers, and I really dig this story for the most part. And it's really cool to actually get the autographs of both of them on the the same day on the same cover, and it's really cool. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be taking care of this book now <laughs> more than I was earlier, but uh, it's a very cool day. And uh, thanks for listening, I appreciate it. Anyway, I'll see you for whatever comes next, and. Uh, Thanks for, if Brent Spiner or J.K. Woodward actually somehow ended up somehow seeing this, thank you again for the, the fun time and uh, the autographs as well. Very cool, very fun day. And um, I'll see you later. Bye.